I know you'll be wondering what exactly we are going to do. So what do we have for today? Something very simple. What do we have for today? Something very simple. We have, we'll talk about the pips. We'll talk about the lots. We'll talk about brokers. We'll talk about um, chat forms and platinum software. And we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about uh, technical analysis. Are you with me? I'll talk about traders, robots and co. How we can make use of all of all these things. So let us start. Like I said, I will always drop the uh, material for you so that you can always go through it. So what do we have for today? For today, we are going to be looking into pips. Pips is known as points in percentage and it represents a tiny measure of the change in the currency pair in the forex market. It can be measured in terms of the quotes or in terms of the underlying currencies. Determining your profit and losses is an essential part of trading. So let's take a closer look of, at what PIPs seems to be. Now, the question is, what exactly is a PIP? Now, from my own research, we are meant to understand that the deeper analysis of PIPs which is pips is when you say one over ten thousand. Now one over ten thousand is zero point zero 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 one. Let me change my method. So let's say there's a value here six. Now, what is a P? A P is the fourth value from the decimals. A P is the fourth value from the decimals, meaning that a P can be measured as one, two, three, four. So this fourth value is what we refer to as what? As P. Are you with me? That fourth value is exactly what we refer to as what? As peaks. And if you take a, a closer look, you observe that PIP can be seen in normal exchange rates. For instance, when you say 1.24516, 1.24516, 1 Five one six. Now, the fourth value from the decimals: one, two, three, yeah. four. Is known as a peep. So it's known as a peep. So, if I add five to that, for instance, let's say I decide to add five pips to that. Let me raise this. You agree with me that if I add this five to this, this exactly will be what? Six. Eleven. And this will be six. And this five. Four. Two. Then point one. So that's one point two four five six six. Are you so that's exactly how to add five pips to it. What if I want to add 10 pips to it? Very simple. So adding 10 pips to this exchange rate will be one and zero. You see this, it will be one and zero. So virtually this becomes one and six can you see this so all of all these can work for normal exchange rates example of normal exchange rates are euro usd gpp usd so on and so forth all of these can work for what normal exchange rates 
So that is one thing about this. Now, I know you'd be wondering, does it only apply to forex pairs that Euro GPP, GPP USD, so on and so forth? It can also be applied to yen pairs. It can also be applied to what? Yen pairs. What exactly are yen pairs? What exactly are yen pairs? Example of yen pairs are CHF JPY, GPP JPY, Euro JPY, so on and so forth. Those are exactly yen pairs. Now, look at what I mean by yen pair. What if I have a rate like this? 152. Yen pairs are always like this. 0.4, let's say 419 or 418. Let's say I'm adding 10 pips to this. Yen pairs is not like the normal rates, whereby you are looking at the fourth value from the decimals. Yen pair is only looking at the second value from the decimals. That's one and two. So you have, it should be added from this one, one and two. So if I'm adding 10 pips to this, for instance, that's one and zero. Eventually, this will be eight. One. One. Five. Five. Point. point two. Two, five, five. Five. One. Can you see? So this is a yen pair. So it means that I successfully added my 10 pips to this. Are you thinking? But I must say the truth to you. If you don't know the basics of this, it's really going to cause a lot of trouble. So you have to know the basics of how to add pips to what? To your exchange rate. So that's that. Let me proceed. The next I'd like to talk about is lots. Lots represents the size of your trade in the financial market. I repeat, lot represents the size of your trade in the financial market. Now, there are four types of lots. There's a standard lot, there's a mini lot, mini lot micro, micro lot. lot. In fact, there is nano lot. Nano lot. The, yeah, the yeah. reason why the nano lot is not really observable is because yeah. nano lot is negligible. Yeah. Are you with me? Nano lots is negligible. Now, I must say something to you tonight. There are some people who have problems calculating the right lot size. <laughs> I said something to you yesterday. I know somebody who had like $150. The person was using a lot of 0 0.2. Now, before I talk about that, let me even explain further. I have a very simple formula for lots. And that formula has always been X over 10,000. A very, very simple analysis. X over 10,000. Now, let's say who is in the house. Let's say Mr. Adele Bigbe has $100. He calls me and says, Mr. Gospel, I have $100. What would be my lot size? I will now tell Mr. Adele Bigbe that, Mr. Adele Bigbe, your lot size will be 100. It will be 100 over, over 10,000. 10,000. Hello, class. Do your mathematics. Right. 100 over 10,000 will give you what? 0 0.01. Now, this 0 0.01, so your, this 0 0.01 okay. is called micro lot size. Now, listen carefully. Micro lot mm -hmm. size ranges from what? 0 0.01 to what? 0 0.09. I repeat, micro lot size ranges from 0 0.01 to what? 0 0.09, meaning that somebody who has $900 is trading based on what? A micro lot size. Are you with me? It's trading based on what? A micro lot size. I hope that's clear to that point. 
Now, who is in the house again? Let's say somebody like Mr. Aliyu calls me. Now, ah, Mr. Ghost Power, I have $1,000. What would be my lot size? Of course, $1,000 is just simply... One, 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 That's $1,000 divided by 10,000. Uh, now, uh, now, when you say 1,000 divided by 10,000, of course, do your mathematics, that gives you 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Now, that 0 0.1 is mini lots. And that mini lot ranges from 0 0.1 to what? 0 0.9. Nine. Are you listening? That would be 0 0.1 to what? 0 0.9. So that's a mini lot. Yeah. Now, for a standard lot, don't worry, I will explain the benefits of this lot to you. For a standard lot, let's say somebody like Mr. Madam Benson, I don't know if he's in the house again, but I think the person is Madam Blessing. Let's say Madam Blessing has $10,000 and human cost, Mr. Ghost Power, I have $10,000. How, what would be my lot size? So, for that kind of amount, what is expected of that person is to say that 10,000 divided by 10,000. Which is one. 10,000 divided by 10,000 is what? One. one. So if this person is trading with one lot size, that means that a standard lot size is standard lot one size. and above. Are you with me? A standard lot size is what? One and what? And above. It means that if you have $10,000, that's the standard lot size. If you have $20,000, that's the standard lot size. If you have $30,000, that's the standard. Hello, class. Anybody who trades with the standard lot size and uses the right strategy, I wonder the kind of job that, that, that person is looking for in Nigeria. You know why? Because 10 pips on one standard lot size, I repeat, 10 pips on one thousand standard lot size is $100. Just imagine you trade 50 pips a day, that's $500. As of the last time I checked my hot forest rate, the hot forest market is about $776. I advise, if you don't even know how to trade, you have money, you can keep in the forest market so that it will be appreciated. That's even business on its own. Are you listening? That's business on its own. It's better you put your money in dollars because it is appreciating every day. There was a day I told a, a class something. Somebody transferred 250,000 naira and gave to me and said I should help him keep. You know what I did? I took the money and I placed it in my hot forex. That same week or two, a week after, dollars spiked up seriously. And I made a massive profit from that transaction. The person didn't know what happened. No. Why? Because he, he just gave me the cash, like, hold it. So I took it and kept because I knew that dollar we always appreciate. Always. Uh -uh. Three years ago, COVID period, dollar was just 380. I'd be 340. And today, as I'm talking to you, that hot forest rate is 776. Almost double of it. So whether we like it or not, this thing we still get to 1,000. So if you are still keeping Naira, huh, me, I don't usually keep money in Naira. That's me. It pays me to keep it in dollars. Then if I want to spend for my family or use, I'll take and transfer it to my Naira account. You understand? Of which I don't really deal with. My, my Naira account is made on my Naira business. When it comes to my dollar account, it is strictly my major business. Are you with me? So when you save in dollars, you don't know what you have done for yourself. <laughs> you are, your life is even more than any other thing. And you are earning dollars, not even what Nigeria is saying now. You get So a standard lot is very, I'm not saying mini lot is not okay, micro lot. This micro lot is very fine. But have it in mind that you'll be building an account. For instance, a family man who has $100 in the forest market, you don't expect such family man 
to be trading only five five dollars every day. Five five dollars will not feed your family. We know what is going on in the country. Five dollars will not feed your family. So what I always advise people to do is, if you know your family man, you want to be making good profit from this, you can start with two hundred dollars. I am not saying hundred dollars is not okay. Please don't get me wrong. Have it in mind that if you are trading two hundred dollars, you are building an account. Just have it that you are what building an account. Let's go to the next phase. The next phase is leverage. Leverage is using when you use using bor borrowed capital as a funding source when investing to expand the firm's assets and generate returns on risk capital. Now, this is another region where people make mistakes in forex. Leverage is key in forex. And if you don't know how to apply the right leverage, you would regret it. How? If, for instance, you come here, many students have always asked, Mr. Gospar, how to deposit $200? What will be my leverage? I always tell them, a 1 to 500 leverage is very fine. How do you think? You can use a 1 to 500 leverage for smaller accounts. Then when you have a very huge account, the leverage can maybe probably 1 to 100, so on and so forth. Are you but what leverage is just saying is, the brokers are giving you an, a certain access to the market. God knows, $100 is, is, is not even a, it's not something that is really big. For brokers, you tell you that, if you put in $100, in the financial market, your $100 is more or less like $50. That's in the financial market. But in real life, you know that $100 is just 76,000 naira or 80,000 naira. Are you with me? Can you see? $100 is in the first market, it's like 50,000. So they will give you MetaTrader 4 and 5 to trade. But note that this trading system depends on the broker you are using. Are you with me? This trading system depends on the broker you are using. That's why I always tell my students something. You must be able to identify very good brokers. Like I have an app, I used to determine good broken firms. That takes me to brokers. Who are brokers? Brokers are firms that provide traders with access to a, to a platform that allows them to buy and sell foreign currencies. Transactions in this market are always between pair of two different currencies. Don't worry, I'll give you the material. I have a very wonderful material to share to you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will always drop my recorded video on my channel, turn on the notification bell, and only share to your friends. Probably you have friends that want to gain this kind of knowledge. So let's proceed. So we have a thousand and one brokers. I know so many broken companies that are disturbed, they are, they are disturbing my life right now. Mr. Ghost Power, we know you organize online training. Why don't you register with us? Then when your student trade under you, you earn a commission. As a matter of fact, I earn a commission already from Hot Forex. Are you with me? I earn a commission already from Hot Forex. And the threshold, let me see if I can do something. They said sin is believing. They said sin is believing. I have a main account and I, I, I earn from a commission. They said sin is believing. And do you know the beauty about earning a commission in Hot Forex? When you earn a commission, once the money reaches $50, they will pay it into your wallet. Are you with me? Once the money reaches $50, they pay that money into your wallet. Maybe I should screenshot it and send it to my WhatsApp group while I'm conducting this class. I will send it to the WhatsApp group, I promise you. So what they do is they, they try their best. They try their best to give out a very good system to you. And you know why I love Hot Forex? Hot Forex, they, because they know I have people who are trading under me and I'm earning the commission, they are now assigned somebody to me. In fact, the man's name is Mr. Dyer. Mr. Dyer calls me from time to time. Mr. Gospower, how are you doing? How is your affiliate um, business going? Hope it's going fine. Mr. Dyer will always call and ask me. It's just like if you run a Facebook advert, if you run a Facebook advert, if you spend so much money on Facebook adverts, Mark, we assign somebody 
who will always call you? Are you with me? Mark will assign someone who will always call you. I have friends that call, Facebook call them. And why do they do this? They like to encourage people so that they will not see a reason to back out from the business because they are making money. See, every business owner wants to see his business growing. So they will do everything to convince you. So like I said, those people are seriously on me. They are like, oh, Mr. Gospel, sorry, I'm just trying to snap my commission and show to you because he said saying is believing. Let's not look as if I'm just creating one lie. See, I will snap that commission. I will show you guys on WhatsApp and I'll tell Mr. Ali to read out for us to see if it is fake or not. So another broken firm can be Antec. I work very well with Antec. Antec is another lovely broken firm. I also give my students to work with. Are you with me? So this is something I know that they are good. There are a lot of them. There's FXTM, there's a Top FX, there's Insta FX, and there's all Forex, so on and so forth. So these are these are one thing I want you to know about broken fans. So broken fans, they are just so so unique. Broken fans are just so so unique. So I think I've snapped it. I'll share it to my Telegram and I will show you and I'll ask Mr. Liu to check it. You know, sometimes you as a trainer, you have to show proof to your students so that it's not look as if you are just coming here to show one light to them. I'm coming. I, was, I also want to snap and show you the paid commission region. The threshold was it reaches $50. They transfer that money automatically to you. I have I'm not boasting here. I have made a lot from that aspect. Are you with me? I've, I've, in fact, I'm, I'm coming in. Just trying to, I'm just trying to be myself here. So, so that, just a minute. I'm almost here. I'm almost here. So, this is, this is one. It's, oh, this is not what I'm looking for. Just give me a minute. So, now, so that's that. So, but the truth about it is, you have to be careful about these broken things. I'm not going to call names. I'm not yet to spoil any of this business. Many of these broken things, I, I once remember a student told me something about a broken thing. I'll never forget. He said that if he assigns maybe $10 to that business, what happens? The brokers will not give him that ten dollars exactly. So this is see, in affiliate marketing you need a mentor. In forex trading you need a mentor. In blogging you need a mentor. All these skills you need a mentor. A mentor will tell you, okay, Mister Gospar, this is the right step to take. And if you don't do it right, I can assure you, you regret it. Are you with me? So. That is that. Okay, I think I have something I want to show you. And Mr. Liu, please unmute yourself. He said, seeing is believing. Seeing is Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu. Sir, okay, sir, you are with me. I'm a Nigerian guy okay, from Niger State. Where does he? <laughs> yes, sir. So, I want to show you a commission which I'll be receiving here very soon. Are you doing? So I want you to tell the house if it is a lie or not. I don't know if you have seen it already. I Can haven't see seen it? it. Okay. Can you all see it? Yeah, Can you yeah. Yes, yes, Can you see that this is yeah. off forest market? I, I hope you can see it here. Let me look at it. I want to afford your life. Can you see that? Uh, no. That's yes, yes. Off forest market. Payout breakdown. Can you see that commission payout? If you re read that, you see that they said fifty dollars minimum commission payout, meaning that it can be hundred dollars, it can be one fifty. Are you okay? Yes. So yeah, yeah. That money reaches fifty dollars, they will send it to my wallet. So once it comes to my wallet, it now depends on me if I want to use it to trade, add it to my other account and trade, or Maybe I want to cash out. Bros, if I even remove that $50 right now as I'm talking to you, 
That is almost like 38,000 naira. Uh -huh. That one can give you a very nice catfish. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Are you with me? So that is that. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to show you a proof so that I don't think maybe we are, we are just forging stories here or something. So that is that. So what's the next thing I'd like to talk about? The next thing I'd like to talk about here is... What's the minutes? The next thing I'd like to talk about here is traders. Who are traders? Traders are people who constantly find something to use to analyze the market. And we have six types of traders. We have the day trader. We have the swing trader. We have the position traders. We have the average trader. And we have the event trader. And we have the scalp trader. Who are the position traders and the scalp traders? A scalp trader, I repeat, a scalp trader is somebody who trades based on I just come into the market, I cash out. I don't, I'm not bothered about 10 pips, I'm not bothered about 20 pips. Once it is in profit, I cash out. Let me not lie to you. Apart from me having my pips to my account, I do that sometimes. Because sometimes, the market condition can be so terrible and frustrating that you set the 10 pips. Sorry, I didn't say what pips is. 10 profit is a point where the market reaches and it closes automatically in profit. Why stop loss is a point where the market reaches and it closes automatic in loss. I will explain that further in tomorrow's class. So position traders and swing traders, they are the same. The next one is swing traders. Swing traders are traders that target a swing in the market. Are you with me? Swing traders, these are traders that sit down and what? They sit down and target a swing in the market. Probably that swing in the market is exactly what is favorable to them. So this is a, these are swing traders. Are you with me? And the next one I would like to talk about is event-driven traders. These are traders that trade with news. Agroidemic traders are traders that design robots. They specifically design robots because they feel that robots can, I'm not saying robots are not good though. Are you with me? I'm not saying robots are not good. The only disadvantage I see about a robot is if a robot is not well designed, are you with me? If a robot is not well designed, you are going to eat it. Are you with me? If a robot is not well designed, you are going to eat it. Are you with me? So I want to open, permit questions in the house. Is there any question for me? I want to permit questions in the house. Is there any question for me? Because I have a very good information I want to drop to you before I end this class. Is there any question for me? Yeah, yes, question. Um, um, we, we have to target a specific people who start trading. For Ah, I, can't, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you please speak up? Please? My mom wants to start trading. Regard to, regard to peeps that yeah. you talk about. Yeah. So, uh, once you analyze your market, then is there any specific peeps that you are going to target for you? you just enter your market and start trading with you? Well, as regards to peeps, I always tell people that they should trade with, they can use 10 pips in the market. Are you, are you, are you there, sir? This is the reason why I said 10 pips in the school. 10 pips helps you and saves you from a lot of troubles. Because sometimes, you might, because sometimes, hello, can you unmute yourself, sir? Can, sorry, can you mute yourself, sir? Are you there? Because sometimes, you might fall into the market with a very high target. And unfortunately, you might be frustrated at the end of the day. I don't know if that's clear. So for you not to be frustrated, I always advise people to what? To what? To trade with very small pips. Are you with me? Trade with what? Very small pips. At least 10 pips is good. 10 pips is very, very good. Are you with me? 
So, is there any question on that? Is there any further question, please? Is there any further question? Now, based on this package I'm looking at, like I said in, in my class, I told you that this class constitutes two things. It constitutes the advanced class, it constitutes the beginner's class, and it constitutes what? The advanced class. Are you with me? So if you have the advanced and the beginner's class, there's no crime in that. Let's say you have the advanced class knowledge and the beginner's class knowledge. Now, I always like to make this announcement because the Monday is very close. There will be an advanced class I'll be conducting on Monday. And that advanced class, normally, if I'm to teach you forex trading, you are going to pay very heavy. Are you with me? You are going to pay very heavy. And because of that, we have decided that we are going to go with a very good method. And the method is we'll try our best. Are you listening? We'll try our best to streamline it so that everybody can enjoy this package. Are you with me? So in order for you to be part of the advanced class package, that package will be coming up on Monday, which is exactly on, um, what's that date again? On Monday is exactly on 6th. Are you with me? On Monday is exactly on 6th. So for you to be part of that package, usually this, if you want to make your analysis very well, this package results to a cost which is very, very expensive. You know, you know that if you go to so many forex firms and you want to make you want to conduct some trainings or you want to have some trainings with them, you pay very, very high. Are you with me? You agree with me. So this is not normally the fee is 20,000 naira. But because we don't want to scare people away and we know the condition of the country. Because if you say 20,000 naira now, some people say, ah, this people they have come again and they want to run. We decide to beat this price down to what? 10,000 naira. Are you with me? We decide to what? Beat this price down to 10,000. And guess what? This advanced class is going for two weeks. And that two weeks is going to be from Monday, which is what? 10th. And it will end on 24th of July. I mean, I mean, how else would you have done this? You are taking a two weeks training from 10th of July to what? 24th of July, this same month. And guess what? You are going to be learning a strategy that is more or less like a robot. Let me explain to you. What that strategy does is that I will configure your trading view such that if the market goes on a buy, you will get an alert on your Gmail account. Are you with me? And if the market is not favorable, you will not get any alert. So in that way, you are maximizing your profit and you are diminishing your losses. Ask many forex traders. One big problem they always have is loss in the market. Before I thank God for today, before I got to this point, I've also encountered loss. We have to buy courses and make researches to, to, to get what works in the market. So if you know you want to part of this package, that's the account details on the screen. You can even start making payments even before the class finishes because I still have a training tomorrow and next tomorrow. If you want to make a payment, I add you to the Telegram group. And guess what? The time is 9 p.m. for this class. Are you with me? From Monday 10th to 24th. Are you with me? So thank you very much, class. That's the account details on the screen. If you make payment now, I add you to the Telegram group. And guess what? You would be in that class. And guess what? You have life mentorship. After this beginner's class, which we end on Thursday, if you send me any message on, sir, I want to do, uh, uh, I want to make inquiries about these things, I wouldn't answer because I'm sorry. This, they are that, I'm leaking out some secrets. But the advanced class guarantees you that. Please, is there any question before we go? If, is there any question before we go? Maybe you have a question about the advanced class, you can ask before we go, please. Is there any question? Yes, Mr. Liu, do you have any question? Okay, no question. Okay. Thank you very much, class. I appreciate you for coming. See you by the grace of God tomorrow.
please, same time, 8 p.m. Don't forget, tomorrow we'll be starting with trading management. We'll be starting with what? Trading management. You have to manage your trade in the financial markets. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.